Hi everybody, I'm Amy Booth and welcome back to the Blue Rose Kennels YouTube channel sponsored by Canine Chronicle TV. Today we'll be going over a couple different ways that you can quickly make bait, how we make some chicken and some liver, so stay right there. Welcome back. You can see that we are in our truck traveling to dog shows right now, but still getting videos ready for you. We hope you enjoy this one. It's a quick tips on how to either boil your chicken or liver or how to microwave it. So here we go. We're first going to start with boiling our chicken and we start with a big pot of water. To that water, we add a bunch of frozen chicken breasts, a little bit of olive oil, as well as a dash of sea salt. Let that boil in that big pot for a little while. You can see this is the skinless breast that we're using, just a, any old frozen brand will do. Bubbling up and cooking really solid. You're gonna check it shortly. Make sure that it's become from pink to white. That's looking about done. So we're gonna take it to the kitchen sink and drain it out in a strainer. We have a plate with some paper towels handy, ready, and we have some water. We're going to rinse off the chicken and cool the temperature down quite a bit since it was not a boiling pot of water before. We're rinsing it, cleaning it, and cooling it off right now. You're going to get anything that's uh, flaking off removed from the chicken breast. Rinse it off really good and rub all those little particles off and put it on your clean paper towel. And that's what you're going to proceed to do with the rest of the chicken breasts in your colander. Wiping it off and cleaning it like this in this fashion helps to keep the bait a little cleaner when you put it in your pockets at the dog shows. Now you have all your chicken breasts all nicely laid out. And you could add a little bit of garlic salt if you'd like. Now I'm going to start with some chicken livers. You can use beef liver. I prefer to use beef liver. I'm using chicken livers in this video because I do have a dog that's allergic to beef and pork. So I am using chicken livers in this video. So we're going to take it out of the container that it was sold in, rinse them off a little bit, and then we're going to add it to our boiling pot of water as well and it will be cooked the same fashion as the chicken breasts were. Got it in that pot now. We'll again add a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of salt, dash of salt. And let it boil. When it's all ready, you're going to strain it in that colander the same way we did the chicken. Rinse it with cold water to cool it off. And you're going to take them piece by piece again and add them to the paper towel to uh, dry out and drain.
and it's about this time that I would add some garlic salt to it as well. And I let both the chicken and the chicken livers just sit on the counter for a little while, cool and drain. Now to make chicken in your microwave if you're at a dog show. You're going to want to use three to four uh, paper plates, some paper towels, Put your chicken breasts on the plates with paper towels on both the bottom and top. Set your microwave to about five minutes and start cooking. Take it out, check it, flip it over. You can see it's starting to cook around the edges and the center is still pink. Be careful because it can be quite hot. You can add a little bit of garlic salt at this time and have it cook with that garlic salt on it. You notice the paper towels underneath it as well as on top. Stick it back in the microwave for probably another five minutes. And you're going to check it again. Again, be very careful because it is very hot. You can see three to four uh, paper plates underneath there. And again, it's very hot, so we're going to use paper towels to flip them over. Make sure they're cooked very well. You want a white chicken breast. They're looking like they're just about done, but I'm going to cook them for another three minutes just to be sure. And I will get a fresh paper towel to put on top and kind of squeeze them out a little bit to make sure that they're drying up. Back in the microwave. Careful, it's very hot. And there you go, there's your final product very similar to what it looked like when we boiled it. We hope you enjoyed those tips on how to make bait. There's even more ways, so stay tuned for another video when we show you more. But that's it for today. If you're liking what we're doing on this channel, please subscribe. Ring the bell to be notified every time we upload something new. Give us a like. Watch us on Canine Chronicle TV as well, and we will see you in our next video.